So this is a cool thing. There was a concert in Bridgeport, Connecticut that the New York Philharmonic gave him and my father was conducting. This gentleman was so excited to get Bernstein's autograph. He was standing in line for a long time somewhere backstage and he spotted my father's baton lying there somewhere and decided that, you know, the universe meant for him to have that baton. And so he took it. And now the son uh, was not only telling us about this incident, but he also gave the Philharmonic Archives the very baton. And here it is framed with the program from the concert that night in Bridgeport where the deed was done. So back here, there is a little uh, article that seems to come from some newspaper entitled Bernstein Baton Stolen. And it says, <laughs> some downbeat beatnik stole Leonard Bernstein's two batons. Two batons, it says here. We have only the one. What happened to the other one? Anyway, it says, it happened in the green room of the Klein Memorial Bridgeport. The near hysteria of the Tuesday night concert narrowed to the orbit of autograph seekers. When that too had passed and Bernstein began to pack a few things for leaving Bridgeport, he discovered his loss. The circle of worshipers around him were dumbfounded. He was furioso, it says, spitting mad, it explains in parentheses. His aides frisked the room. They said the two batons were hand carved. Just as the words juvenile delinquent were expected, a woman sought to console the conductor. This is not stealing, she said. They took the sticks for keepsakes because they admire you. Bernstein stayed furious. The end. <laughs> this very baton was hand carved, indeed, by the timpanist in the New York Philharmonic, Saul Goodman, who was already in the business of making sticks for himself and would make batons for Leonard Bernstein and made him quite a few. So here's one of them having returned to its rightful home here at the New York Philharmonic.